What does the word gumption mean to me, or how, how did it come to be the title of my book? It came organically. I, I came up with this list of great Americans that inspire me. I sort of considered what's, what's going to tie them all together, what's going to make this into a book, and I determined that it was the sense of what I call gumption, which is it's kind of intangible. It involves spunk and courage and stamina and character and integrity. There's something about each of these people's lives and the way they carried themselves that inspired me to want to emulate them. One of the main themes of the book is how can we all continue to be more decent to one another, and so I have to point up the people who I feel are being mistreated, which are minorities and people in same-sex relationships, or women, or uh, eaters of red meat. In the theater, we learned pretty quickly that we represent everybody. And so that's when these things started to occur to me, when I left my small town in Illinois of white people. And I got to the, the metropolis of Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, and I immediately saw people being discriminated against, and just new friends in the theater department who were going through the trauma of just coming out to, say, their families. And I was like, well, hang on a second. Like, you're an amazing, intelligent, beautiful person, and you, you like, you're, you want to maybe commit suicide rather than tell your family that you, who you want to kiss? That seems, <laughs> that seems unfair. Feminism is an important quality, uh, I think, in society and something that needs to be talked about until we can legitimately complain. <laughs> until the guys are like, uh, hey, hang on, you're making more money than us. That's when we can stop talking about feminism. We are slowly evolving, you know? Those of us, like, like with Yoko, who her, has spent her whole life saying, you know, we could all just get along. <laughs> and Eleanor Roosevelt said the same thing uh, when she started working with the United Nations. And it's all these boys around a table, like, wanting to throw spears at each other. And she said, you know, we, we could just sit around a table and try to figure this out. And then nobody's kids get shot. Hoping to do my little bit towards uh, helping us evolve towards... Uh, a place where we quit shooting at each other.